Hi, I'm children's book author, Liesl Detlifson. Today I'm going to be reading my book right this very minute, right this very minute on my family's cranberry farm. We are busy preparing for spring. The thaw is coming out of the ground and the plants are coming out of dormancy and we're getting ready for the growing season. Inside my office, I'm doing what many of you are doing, which is learning how to do virtual learning from afar. My kids are home from school, as are many of you. And the wonderful thing about technology is we can still share story time. Here is Right This Very Minute with art by the amazing Renee Carolla. And one of the wonderful things about writing a book is you do get to dedicate it to somebody. And I dedicated this one to my sister, April, who is a library media specialist, and is also helping her kids virtually learn. Write This Very Minute, a table to farm book about food and farming. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. Right this very minute in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice you drink in the morning. Right this very minute in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows, the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. Right this very minute in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with a new tubing system to carry maple sap to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you've poured on your pancakes. What's that you say you'd like a snack right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing also, cranberries can become part of your trail mix. Right this very minute on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much to water these sensitive plants. What's that you say? It's time for lunch right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice every day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow more bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. Right this very minute, a cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes their calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to new pastures or feed yards before they are harvested for the beef that will be made into hamburgers. Right this very minute, a farmer plans a crop rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables, like the potato you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at local farmers markets. Before lettuce and tomatoes ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say you'd like dessert? Right this very minute, then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family-owned strawberry patch 
while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect eggs that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plan a garden right here in your community. Right this very minute, you and your friends, family, and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with the fruits and vegetables you harvest yourselves. Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their families and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank you for your, for your delicious food. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. And this is my favorite part, Renee included this little illustration that has a lovely resemblance of me and my two sons out on our cranberry marsh. And you know, my husband always jokes that cranberries don't care it's Christmas because there's always work to do every day on the farm. That is still true even now. And we're all doing our part to keep working and to keep feeding your family. And I need to keep doing my part to keep telling the stories of ag. And I'm so glad you joined me for story time today. Thank you.